So there's been some uh, recent studies that have shown that you can use the inclinometer on the iPhone or different inclinometers that you could purchase and they have really good validity, equal validity to goniometric goni 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 measurements of the ankle. So a, a quick way to do this is for dorsiflexion is have the patient actually in a kneeling position and then use the inclinometer right around the tibial tuberosity and I need you to come back up so that's so you start at your zero measurement and then we have them lean forward till they get to their barrier and for him it's 39 good and come back and then we can do the other side zero it out and then go and lean forward and he's at 38, 39. Now he's equal on both sides but we just did manual therapy to both of those but in the clinic if you want to look at dorsiflexion you can do it. That, that's a quick and easy way to be able to measure it. Um, for some patients, they won't like that half kneeling position, so you might want to put a pillow under their knees. It just keeps everything clean when you're doing it. It's a little bit more difficult, so go ahead and stand on up. And uh, yeah, this position is good. So you could have them try to start from straight and go ahead and bend your knee like you're dorsiflexing all the way down. So you could do it in this position too and see we get about the same measurement and a little bit more. You just have to make sure that you you have everything zeroed out first before you do it. But if when you're doing, so in the clinic that's more efficient. In research they have to keep everything really clean so that it can be validated. So that's what the research did. That's most likely what you do in the clinic. So then you do your technique and then you remeasure it. And it's good feedback for the patient. Oh, you know, you're, you're about 10 degrees restricted. No wonder you're having some discomfort. Oh, we did the mobilization. We improved it by 10 degrees. I improved it by 10 degrees. It's your job to keep it mobile. And these are the strategies we're going to use for that. So very useful to give the patient that feedback.